Welcome back to Let's Play Dragon Quest 3 with me, Get Dave. So I did a little bit of level grinding, and I'll let you check out my new characters. We've got everyone but the hero up to level 20, which is good, because we don't care if the hero gets up to level 20. Because um, he can't change class, but uh, we're doing great. So we're just going to waltz back to the Temple of Dharma. And now we have Decisions time. Yes, I would be. Uh, we'll start off with Marl. Because she has access to the Sage class. Yep. There we go. And Xion's going to switch up to a Sage as well. Well... We have to check a few things out here. So, Xion's super fast, so that would that's a first point in making her a great sage. The question is, what do we do with Jansen? Which I will not address right away. Maybe I'll leave that up to you guys. You decide what we're going to do with Jansen. I have half a mind to switch him to a thief, actually. Because I really like having one. Uh, yeah, Xion becomes a sage for sure. Huh. Yep. So our stats get halved, but honestly, that is not that bad. Uh, yeah, you know what? Let's just... Let's go for it, because the, the game told me not to do this, so I pretty much have to now. Yeah, let's do it. I could not take him seriously wearing all that pink. Nope. Alright, and now our posse looks entirely different. And we are just going to get into one fight and watch the fireworks. Now, sages don't level up particularly quickly, but, uh, well, they're still only on level one, so let's see what happens, shall we? pretty painful, but I'll be the one laughing last. I also kept the mighty armlet on Jansen, so he's a thief with the valiant personality type, so he should still be pretty strong, I'm hoping. Level 2. Level 3. Level 4. And they're learning spells, which is a very welcome change. Sage is pretty much average 1 a level. MP plus 15. Holy cow. No HP bonuses, though, because that is going to be tied to a stamina stat from now on. You've got to remember that. When you change classes, you can't really cheat your way into getting lots of HP or MP, because those are derived from your uh, stamina and wisdom stats. So that's why Jansen's not gaining any hit points right now. She's got the sexy personality type, so her stats will be getting by far the best increase. Although silly is not bad, as I've mentioned. Upper, which raises your defense. So she's got all of the thief ones and some of these new ones now. Like blaze and heal. I'm pretty excited about that one, I'm not going to lie. Alright, now I believe where I'm going is over here, so we're going to head that way. Alright, we got a level up in that fight, and now both of my uh, sages have Ice Bolt, which is, you get around 20 damage if you're lucky, on one enemy. Uh, no, I think I'm pretty good right now. Zipang Yu, which is like a dragon, and Orochi is a dragon in this game anyway. I don't know what it actually means. Maybe one of you knows. Small metal, that's good news. We're getting close to 30 on them. I bet that... Uh, I'm betting this leads to one of those warp pools. And let's continue on our way. I... 
don't know if I'm supposed to go. It looks like that's not a river, just a little island lake. These enemies can be a little on the tough side, but uh, let's just try grinding it out first. They can also steal your MP, which is annoying. And that wasn't too bad. Good times with level ups, everybody. Good times. I'm pretty sure I'm on the rich. There we go. This is what I wanted. Dang it. In the world equivalent of... I don't even know where we are, like... Eastern Siberia? I'm not sure. Maybe you could find me on the Dragon Quest Three Google Maps. Sorry for making you watch that. But come on, it was worth it. You don't want to miss these characters growing up. Upper is a great spell uh, called Buff in the newer games. It, it doubles a character's defense for a fight. But really good. Speed up doubles everyone's agility. Uh, and I believe you are most remote village in the world. I believe your defense goes up when you speed up as well. I kind of forget that detail. The Leather Kilt. A surprisingly good piece of armor. Nope. Capota, hey? I don't know what that means. Thought I'd try. Small metals are located all over the place. As you're starting to notice, some of them in incredibly cheap locations. Is that what you guys called Ortega? Who has a much more normal name? Ah, oh, this guy. It's kind of a fun house over here. I am confused. Is that their term for stranger? Maybe these people just aren't very intelligent. Thank you for just providing me with a service. Staff of Judgment, pretty good statistically, but it only hits one enemy, so that's not that great. Giant Shears can only be used by warriors. And, well, they're not that great. Sure, can I have this? I am so, uh, is that the old man back there? I honestly do not remember any of this. That's right, no fake drama with me. I'm genuinely going to be surprised. Okay. Okay. So that is Or Ortega. Haha, <laughs> I lied to him. So he's doing well? Oh yeah, he's doing great. And a small metal, fantastic. Can I have the helmet? Fantastic. It is a super great... Well, you'll see. How do you know I'm going to make my father proud? I could be like a crazy anarchist or something. And this is sort of the beginning of Dragon Quest games where I guess looking for super awesome legendary gear has always been a part of them, but I kind of think of that as the precursor to finding the Zenithian gear. Uh, which, if you're not familiar with Dragon Quest IV, we'll talk about later. Uh, I'll see you guys next time.